Korn's first record came out. And it's not like Korn came out and blew up like that. You know what I mean? Like It was people, like a slow, a slow burn? Yeah, the people at the underground knew him, like mm-hmm, me, mm-hmm. him, you know, whatever. Sure. But like Korn, Korn was like, I've seen Korn at the Troubadour. I've seen Korn at the Whiskey. Mm-hmm. You know, like those size places. Like they didn't just go play in, you know, sure. Santa Monica Civic or Palladium right. off the bat. So I've seen him in like those small clubs. And then like if Korn was playing or Deftones, they would come down and play, you know, we would just mm-hmm. be out there yeah, yeah. passing flyers out, bro. It was definitely wow. a scene, you know. It was like it's crazy, bro. Like the the, the scene was just like it, it felt like it was a scene. It was a scene, yeah. Like uh, literally, people were playing. They sold out here, and you, the other band would be sold out here. Like it was literally a scene. Like it was kind of like the uh, like the eighties when people were just walking around. And just f- it was literally like that, but it was like new metal. Yeah, and people would uh, system of down and their band like it was just crazy. Static, you know? static, snot, and, yeah. snot would snot. come down and play. So it was like a new metal scene before it was even a thing. Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't even called. It wasn't that. even called new metal. It was just rock or metal. What, yeah. So it was. It was wow. called. It was called. Uh, I remember they were calling it L.A. <clears throat> metal because like L.A. metal. L.A. metal. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it was all, like, basically down-tuned. Like, that's... Yeah. Literally, that's the only thing any of us had in common. Yeah. Was we all tuned down. Yeah. And then uh, and then what I think threw it in a in a tailspin, or, like, what fucked it all up, the name L.A. Metal, was uh, either Limp Bizkit, who were from Jacksonville, mm-hmm. or l- a little later on, Slipknot came out, who weren't from L.A. either. Mm-hmm. But Slipknot, like, blew the fuck up, obviously. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, so you can't call it new metal. I mean, uh, L.A. metal anymore. And then I Whoa, think, if dude. I'm not mistaken, it was Kerrang! Kerrang! magazine that like coined that term new metal. That's true. Mm. Yeah. Okay. There were, either it was them or Metal Hammer. It was like, it, it came from the U.K., yeah. that, the term new metal. But it, it's, it's all weird because, you know, I was like, okay, so, you know, you're calling Cold Chamber, System of a Down, and Limb Biscuit new metal. Those bands sound nothing alike. Yeah. Like there's absolutely mm-hmm. nothing in common, other mm-hmm. than they all play guitar. But you know, mm. yeah, I, I feel like the, the the only commonality was like I feel everyone was just really trying to be original or trying to put a niche. Like, I mean, that's I feel that's like sometimes lacking with like like I feel, but LA was I felt everyone was just trying to be different. Yeah, and. Not, yeah, that was it. Everybody I mean, the only, was trying like said, to be different. Yeah, and the only thing common was that the tune down thing. Of course, when you go into that tempo in the grooves, of course, sometimes things okay, they might touch on that bad way. Of course, but but I think everyone was just trying to just have their own niche. Like it was, if I could feel that, bro. Like it was just like a, that hunger to just like be different. N- di- yeah, different, and not and not even like a stereotypical metal. It was like. You could feel it with bands like Look at System, Static. Mm-hmm. Like it was just different. Everybody was just doing their shit and fucking shit up, you know. And that was awesome because it's like you could feel the camaraderie, but also the competition. Yeah, you know, it, was, it was healthy competition. It was healthy. But I tell you one thing, like bro, everybody helped everybody out. Yeah, like bands, like dudes would just help each other out. Yeah, like what. Uh, so for, for for example, you gave like like the Dino example. Like what's like like what was something else that uh, that bands were doing to help? Uh, we would just put shows together, man. You yeah. know, um, well, Cold Chamber is kind of a bad example because when we came out, they already had a record deal and they had put mm. their first record out. Mm. But like you know, take uh, take let's say Spy Shank, Static X, System of a Down. Yeah. Um, let's take those three bands. Yeah, um, like. Shava would put shows together at the Whiskey, yep. and then he would call me. He'd be like, yo, bro, we're doing a show at the Whiskey. You guys want to do it with us? Yeah. Holy shit. You know, like, that's how it would work. And then, mm. you know, um, shit would happen, you know, like fucking somebody's cymbals would get stolen, let's just say, right? Mm-hmm. The other drummer would be like, yeah, bro, take mine. It's all good. And I'm it's talking true. like these were all local bands. I mean, yeah. they all had label interest for sure. Mm-hmm. But nobody really had a record deal. But I mean, you're talking like we would sell out the whiskey, bro. Five, six hundred people. You it know? was like this fucking this growing scene. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was like literally a scene. Yeah. But you know, like like everyone was like I said, different. That like you're like it wasn't even trying to compete within the genre of because 
it wasn't even a genre. It was, it was just so like, new. It was so fucking new, bro. Like everyone was just doing shit, and you're like, whoa, everybody. And you're like, oh, okay, but you would help because it's like, oh, I'm not even trying to do that, but I'm doing my thing. So it wouldn't feel like you're competing in the same thing because it was wow. there was no genre. It was just like people were just doing crazy shit. So it was like, oh yeah, let's fucking play together, blah blah. Because you, oh, I'll help you out, or you know, blah blah. And it was a different kind of thing, you know, back then. Because things, it was so new, bro. It was so new that we were trying to take metal in, into a, a, a territory that was, uh, you know, just uncharted yeah. waters, basically. Yep. Mm. You know, the egos didn't really start kicking into like everybody's second record. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the second record. Well, cause, I mean, I mean, something that people don't really know about both both your bands because, yeah. and also I was wrong for assuming this because people associate anything pre. I don't know, 2005 as like money. But you, but since the scene was so new, you guys both signed at a time where New Metal didn't pop yet. 